Welcome back to Sports Overtime. The Grand Rapids Drive is enjoying its best season in franchise history. Saturday's 91-89 win over Westchester was the third straight win, and they're 12th in the last 15 games. The last three wins against Westchester, Erie, and Fort Wayne came against first-place teams, and a big reason for the success is the addition of point guard Kay Felder in 19 games with the drive. He's averaged 17 and a half points, six assists a game, and he joins us now in studio here on Sports Overtime. Kate, thanks for joining us on a, a busy Sunday of college basketball. Uh, what's going on with this team right now? Why are you guys playing so well together? Uh, we've just been locked in, you know, ever since, you know, started going on the winning streak. We just wanted to be like one of the first teams to make the playoffs with the drive. We, and I looked at and seen that we never made the playoffs. So me as a point guard, I want to do everything in my power to make the playoffs and try to go on around with this team. Three games left in the regular season. You guys are in position. You feeling the pressure to win this out? Just win out and just take care of business like that? Um, there's no pressure. Um, just I'm taking it one game at a time, and hopefully the rest of the team is as well because we're just trying to get better every day, and that's why we come in and, and, and to work every day, just to improve ourselves. How much more fun is the game when you're on a roll like this? It's like you can shoot it in the ocean, kind of. <laughs> you're just having fun, you know, cheering your teammates on and things like that. I mean, adversity does hit sometimes, but at the end of the day, we make sure we push through it and find ourselves. You're five foot nine, and you are fearless. You, you take that ball in the lane, go up against the seven footers. What? How did that become part of your game? How did you uh, get that fearlessness? I think it's the way I grew up, the way I was raised. Everybody was always bigger than me. I was always the smallest, so I had to figure out a way to get on the court, and the only way I could get on the court was not be scared. Do you, do you get more joy out of taking one in on a seven-footer and scoring on him or launching from, like, 25, 30 feet and nailing a three? <laughs> Going to the paint on a seven-footer, that's <laughs> definitely way more fun. What, to, what does this team have to do to, to make that first playoff appearance here in these last three games? Do what we've been doing all year, staying focused, staying to our principles. The coaches have been doing a great job coming up with game plans and things like that. We just got to make sure we take care of our bodies, you know, getting the right treatment that we need on off days. And maybe when we don't have off days, just make sure we're taking care of our bodies and taking it one game at a time. Okay, you, you come down here and, you know, you instantly energize this team. You know, they're on a roll right now. You watch what's going on in Detroit where they're really struggling, especially at the point guard position. Is it frustrating at all? I mean, are you watching that or do you just kind of focus on what you've got to do here? But is it frustrating to not get that call up? Um, this is definitely not frustrating. I'm here for a reason. That's to improve myself and get better every day. Um, you know, I do watch the Pistons a lot. I watch a lot of basketball, just not the Pistons. So I'm, I just figure a call-up is coming sooner or later. But as of right now, I'm focused on the drive because that's where I'm at right now. So what are you working on to get better and to improve? What, what does your game need? Uh, my game needs um, more vocal leadership. You know, and I've been working on that a lot lately. And, you know, showing that I can run a team and showing that I can get wins and showing that I'm more than just a scorer, showing that I can pass too, and showing that I'm a fearless defender. And, you know, these games with the drive has helped me out a lot. And I, thanks to the, or, thanks to, give thanks to the organization for bringing me here. I, I, we are in the throes of March Madness. Uh, have, did you fill out a bracket? Who did you have winning? And, and how many surprises have you had, uh, you know, these last couple of days? You know, seeing State lose today in North Carolina. I didn't fill out any brackets, but State lost, so that's a good thing. <laughs> um, I'm not a State fan, so it is what how, it is. how much does that have to do with Izzo not bringing you in? Oh, it has nothing to do with Izzo bringing me in. I've known Izzo since I was a little kid going to... You know, basketball camps up there with Steve Smith. So I've known Izzo just a long time. I mean, it has it's not to do. it's not that chip on the shoulder thing that your Spartans talk about. Oh, it's so. definitely a chip on the shoulder when high majors, not just Michigan State, when high majors <laughs> don't recruit you, and you know you can go to their school and be an impact. How much has it driven you along the way? Uh, it's a lot. Uh, every day of my life, I'm I'm grinding every day of my life to prove people wrong and things like that. People are always going to count me out because of my size, but it doesn't phase me. It just gave me extra motivation. You got, you got to taste the NBA and got to team with LeBron. Is, is that team, can it still win a championship from what you're seeing from them? 
I hope so. I mean, it looks like they're headed in the right direction. They're still trying to figure out the kinks and things like that, but anything is possible in my eyes, so it's definitely not impossible. Is he the greatest player of all time? Jordan? Who, who, where would, you, who would you have on your basketball Mount Rushmore? Um, looking at my shoes, <laughs> yeah. I, Jordan is definitely on my Mount Rushmore. Magic Johnson, mm -hmm. Kobe, and LeBron. All right. Kay Felder, drive trying to make the playoff push. They play Tuesday on the road, Friday and Saturday at home, and uh, maybe we'll be covering some playoff basketball in the very so. near future. Thanks, Kay. Thank you.